How can you determine whether a given number makes an equation true? Think about this question during the lesson. Jordan received a $15 gift card for phone apps. He has used $4 of the value and wants to buy one more app to use up the balance. Which app should Jordan buy? How can you use a bar diagram to help write an equation? A bar diagram also called a tape diagram, can be a useful tool for writing and solving an equation. How does the bar diagram represent the problem? The bar diagram shows that $4 plus some amount equals $15. Which part of the bar diagram represents the price of an app Jordan could buy? Select your answer. An equation is a mathematical sentence that uses an equal sign to compare expressions. What are some examples of an equation? Five plus three equals eight, and 10 minus one equals nine are examples of an equation. A solution of an equation is a value of the variable that makes the equation true. What does it mean for an equation to be true? An equation is true if both sides of the equation are equal. Find the solution of $4 plus x equals $15. Substitute the cost of each app for x and evaluate. Try x equals $9. How do you know that $9 is not the solution? $4 plus $9 equals $13, not $15, so $9 is not a solution. Try x equals $11. How do you know that $11 is a solution? $4 plus $11 equals $15. So when you substitute $11 for x, the equation is true. Try x equals $12. How do you know that $12 is not a solution? $4 plus $12 equals $16, not $15. So $12 is not a solution. Could there be other solutions to the equation in this situation? No, in this case, only x equals $11 makes the equation true. The solution is $11, so Jordan should buy the WO2 sports app. Tracy received a $21 gift card for phone apps. She has used $9 of the value and wants to buy one more app from the list shown to use up the balance. Complete the bar diagram and use the equation $21 equals X plus $9 to determine which app she should buy. Let's underline important things. $21 gift card for phone apps. She used $9. We have to complete the bar diagram and Use the equation $21 is equal to X plus $9 to determine which app she should buy. So first, let's use the diagram. She received a $21 gift card, so this entire bar is going to represent the $21 gift card. The X is going to represent the um, 
is going to represent the app cost. And then we have $9 that's going to go here in the other blank space of the bar diagram. So out of the $21 that she has, she spent $9 of it and wants to buy another app that we don't know what that cost is yet. Um, but 21 of, of, of that whole entire amount. Um, so we need to figure out and our original expression is addition. So we can do the inverse or opposite to find the value of X. So we instead will do take the whole, which is $21, and subtract it from the part, which is the $9. And then that will give us our X value of $12. So the solution is $12. So Tracy should buy the blank app, which app costs $12. It is the remote desk, desktop, remote desktop app. And that's it. Maya has a total of 1,190 marbles and five boxes. Maya puts an equal number of marbles in each box. Which of Maya's three friends, if any, correctly guessed the number of marbles, X, Maya has in each box? You can use a bar model to represent the five groups of marbles. Maya has 1,190 marbles. If each box has X marbles in it, then 5 times X is equal to 1,190. Now, substitute each guess for X and evaluate. Begin with the first friend's guess. Let X equal 234. 5 times 234 is 1,170. The product does not equal 1,190, so X equals 234 is not a solution. Now evaluate the guess of the second friend. Try x equals 242. 5 times 242 is 1,210. The product does not equal 1,190, so x equals 242 is not a solution. Is the third friend correct? Let's try x equals 240. 5 times 240 is 1,200. The product does not equal 1,190, so x equals 240 is also not a solution. Of Maya's three friends, none correctly guessed the number of marbles in each box. No solution is given in the set of values. Determine which of the values in the set, negative 4, negative 2, 4, 6. Make the equation b minus 4 times b plus 1 equals 7 true. The braces are used to indicate a set 
or group of numbers. Braces are sometimes called curly brackets. Substitute each value for B and evaluate. So we have to try each one of the numbers in the set to see if it is a solution. So first we try the negative 4. They tried it and it did not equal 7, so it's not a solution. Then they tried negative 2 and tried it and it was a solution. Then they tried 4, <clears throat> they used it, multiplied it. It did not equal uh, 7, so it's not a solution. They tried the last one, 6. It uh, did not equal 7, and it is also not a solution. So the solution to the equation is going to be negative 2 because it equals negative 7. Part A. Antonio has a total of Y marbles and four boxes. He puts 13 marbles in each box and has none left over. Which of his friends, if any, correctly guessed the number of marbles Antonio has in all? Use the equation y divided by 4 equals 13. We have to see which friend is correct by using each one of their guesses to see who is correct. So we're going to substitute y for all of the guesses of the three friends. So let's evaluate y as 48 for Jasmine. 48 divided by 4 is equal to 13. Let's see, 48 <coughs> divided by 4, 4 goes into 4 one time, and it's a 0, bring down the 8, 4 goes into 8 twice, and then that's going to be evenly, so 48 divided by 4 is 12, does that equal the 13? It does not, so it does not equal 13. <clears throat> Move on to the next one, is 52. So I'll do it in a different color. 52 divided by 4 is equal to, we'll do, <clears throat> we'll do 52 divided by 4. 4 goes into 5 one time. It equals 4. That equals 5 minus 4 is 1. Bring down the 2, 4 goes into 12 three times. It's 12 evenly. Does equals 13. Does that equal 13? Yes, it does. Let's try Quincy. See if he's correct. Quincy guessed 120 marbles. So we do 120 divided by four is equal to 120 divided by four. Four goes into uh, 12 three times. That's zero. Bring down the zero. Four goes into zero zero times. That's zero. And that equals 30. And does that equal 13? No, it does not. So the correct guess was, guess was Nico's. He guessed 52 marbles, and that is correct. I am going to also complete B, so let's erase all of this. And it says determine which of the following values in the set, if any, make the equation 4 equals m plus 5 minus 2 times m true. So let's look at that one. We are going to first try negative 5. I'm going to write it over here. Uh, M is going to be negative 5 plus 5 minus 2M, which is now 5. Oh, sorry. 2 times 5. And so 
we have to use order of operations, PEMDAS. So we're going to multiply first, which is 2 times m. That is 10. And I'm just writing the rest of my equation. And then I have to do um, addition from less, left to right. Negative 5 plus 5 is actually 0. And then 0 minus 10 is minus 10. Does minus 10 equal 4? No, it doesn't. So we got to try the next one. So the next one in the set is negative 1. So we have negative 1 plus 5 minus 2 times negative 1. So 2 times negative 1 is going to give us positive 2, just writing the rest of the equation. Now we add and subtract left to right. Negative 1 plus 5 is going to give us 4. And then we have 4 plus 2 left over. And then 4 plus 2 is equal to 8. And so does 8 equal 4? No, it does not. So that is not a solution either. Let's try the next one in the set, which is 0. So we're going to do 0 plus 5 minus 2 times 0. So we multiply first. Any number times 0 is 0. So that's going to stay 0. 5 plus 0. 0 plus 5 is 5. 5 minus 0 is 5. Is 5 equal to 4? No, it is not. So that is also not going to make that equation true. Now the last one. Let's try 3. Two times three, negative two times three is going to be negative six plus five and three is still there. We have three plus five is eight. Eight minus six is two. So three is not a solution either. So that means that there is no solution. And that's it.